hello friends uh, uh, last in the last uh, lecture we have uh, studied about the conversion from nfa to dfa and uh, next we will uh, learn about how we can convert from epsilon move uh, with nfa to dfa but before that uh, first we need to understand about the dummy state okay so what is dummy state uh, dummy state uh, is an used to in a dfa to make all possible transitions from every state okay see sometimes what happens in uh, some dfa uh, see any machine uh, is not a complete dfa until unless there is a transition of all the symbols from every state okay see uh, for example uh, let's we have this uh, state and from a to b we have a transition of zero okay and we have self loop of one at the b stage so there are two input symbols that is zero and one in this machine okay and from a state a we have only transition for the zero symbol and from b we have transition only for uh, symbol one okay we, uh, so there is no transition for one from a and there is no transition from b uh, to zero okay so this is a, a incomplete dfa so to complete this dfa uh, first uh, we need to create our dummy state so how we can create it we can just uh, let's uh, this this uh, we have convert uh, is in this machine and this x is a dummy state so now how we can uh, add this uh, dummy state in the existing machine is this uh, dummy state have uh, the transition like from a so uh, in this case we have only zero transition as uh, transition for the zero symbol and now uh, we do not have in this machine we do not have a transition for one so we create a transition for one from a to this dummy state and and from in this state we do not have a transition for zero from b so from b to this dummy state we have what zero transition so that is what uh, that is why we need a dummy state dummy state is used in dfa to make all possible transition from every state so what the means of this all possible transition means all possible transition for all the symbols so in a dfa from every state we should have a transition for all the input symbols so so that is why we need to create what dummy state okay and now second uh, point in the dummy state is that dummy state act as in sinks that is there is no transition from dummy state to other state see uh, all the transition at this dummy state uh, there will be uh, incoming uh, transitions there will be no uh, outer transition from this state to any other state so uh, this uh, machine uh, sorry this uh, state dummy state act as what the sink okay so there will be only incoming uh, transitions there is no outgoing transition to other states next point says that a uh, dummy state cannot be the final state okay so uh, in this case we cannot make this uh, dummy state as an final state see when whenever you add this dummy state to the existing machine so uh, the one point that you need to remember is the language accepted by this machine and language accepted by this machine should not be changed okay so that we need to uh, uh, remember so uh, the third point says is that that mm, the dummy state cannot be the final state okay the fourth point is uh, in any dev, any uh, nfa there will be no dummy state so uh, see uh, we are creating dummy states only in the case of dfa if we have nfa so there is no need to add this uh, dummy state to the machine and next point is what uh, only a uh, one uh, dummy state is sufficient in a one dfa okay so uh, we do not need to create uh, more than one dummy state in a machine so we just need to create or uh, there is a need only one dummy state in the machine and the last point says that what there is always be a self loop of all these input symbols at the dummy state see 
फर्स्ट पॉइंट से इज दैट वॉट इन द केस ऑफ डी एफ ए देर शुड बी ट्रांजिशन ऑफ ऑल द इनपुट सिम्बॉल्स फ्रॉम एवरी स्टेट सो दैट इज वाई वी एट दिस डमी स्टेट बिकॉज वी डू नॉट हैव अ ट्रांजिशन फॉर वन फ्रॉम द स्टेट ए एंड जीरो फ्रॉम द बी स्टेट ओके दैट वी हैव क्रिएटेड इन दिस डमी स्टेट but also remember that there will always be a self loop of 0 and uh, sorry uh, in this case that is 0 and 1 but uh, in generalize there should be a self loop of all the uh, input symbols so um, whatever the input symbols for the machine so there will be a self loop of all the input symbols okay so in in such case if we have a transition for uh, from this uh, state so we can make all the transitions okay so the last point says uh, that what there is always be a self loop of all the input symbols so that so these are the points uh, that you should remember whenever there is a need and required for adding the dummy states in the existing machine okay and uh, in see when uh, when we required to add this dummy state in the machine see whenever you convert from nfa to dfa so in such case whenever you convert from nfa to dfa so there may be a chance that the converted dfa may not have a, a transition for all the symbols from the uh, all these states so in uh, some cases we need to add the dummy state in this dfa okay so uh, if a question comes in the exam that uh, how many states uh, in the dfa when you convert from nfa to dfa and if there is a requirement uh, for the dummy state so always count the dummy state as in the number of states okay so if uh, we say that uh, how many numbers of states in the dfa uh, so this two is not a correct answer the correct answer will be what three states okay so uh, that is why uh, you should always be uh, careful that uh, in case of dfa there should be a uh, transition of all the all the input symbols from each and every state so and if there is no transition from any state so we should always add the dummy state in the machine and while adding this machine you should always remember that the language accepted by this machine and language accepted by this uh, dummy state machine should not be changed okay so these are the points that you should remember while converting from uh, nfa to dfa or uh, the case uh, that we have seen uh, later then nfa with epsilon transition to dfa okay okay thank you